Our feet are like the roots of a tree. If they're not healthy, our entire system is not gonna be healthy. And so in this exercise program, we're really gonna look at releasing adhesions, connective tissue, and trigger points on the feet, the Achilles tendon, the lower extremity, and a couple muscles that are right above the knee. If we can keep these in good health, have good range of motion, good blood flow, circulation, and lymph, we're really gonna be able to perform at maximal levels and or just be able to walk without pain. When we look at the special characteristic of the foot, we have three arches. We have a transverse arch which sits right behind the balls of the feet and then two arches or two lines that run down the inside and outside of our foot. That forms a ramp. Some people have higher arches, some have lower arches. But our ability to keep that connective tissue soft and malleable will help a high arch get a little lower or a low arch get a little higher. So it'll really help improve the structural integrity of our arches that are so important because they're actually the springs that help us to deflect impact upon walking, running, and sprinting and also give that springiness um, that coincide with our lower extremity and the muscles of the lower leg as we locomote and walk and do other things that we need to do on a, on, on a daily basis. So let's get started. The first exercise is a trigger point release of the medial arch, so the big arch that you can see on the inside of your foot. What Tyler is going to do is go ahead and just take small movements uh, back and forth until he finds the painful part of that connective tissue or that, that tissue that is aggravating him. Uh, one of the things that you can do is stay in an area and do small circles, or you can actually, with the texture on that foot massage ball, move it back and forth so that texture actually is biting down on that tissue, and you can take it all the length of that medial arch Let's go ahead and do this for between 30 seconds to a minute and really open up that, that connective tissue to create good range of motion and to create health in that foot. The second exercise of the Ground Up series is taking a look at the lateral longitudinal arch. And so Tyler will take the foot massage ball and just trace out or carve out the entire section of that lateral arch. A lot of people forget about this arch um, because it sits flat to the ground, and that's absolutely okay. There's lots of connective tissue under there. There's lots of ability for it to get sore, especially if we don't walk flat. If we supinate or pronate, you're definitely gonna feel this imbalance and soreness. And we use this technique here of allowing this two and a half inch massage ball to really start digging into some of those tissues and opening them up so that we can have good range of motion and so that all of the proper oxygenated nutrient can get to that area of soreness and, and start the healing process. Um, and again, breaking through those knots and adhesions to, to free it up. The third exercise in the ground up series is the transverse arch, or just behind the balls of the feet. So Tyler, go ahead and step on that ball and feel it go just behind the balls of those feet. One of the techniques I like to do here is I like to take the toes and flex them and then extend them, this gripping motion. We can also go ahead and flex them and extend and flare them. So try to get this pinky and that, that uh, toe as far away from each other as possible, and then go ahead and grip down. We can also segment them by going, you know, fifth, fourth, third, first, and then all the way back up like this. So just really starting to get those, uh, those, those toes moving um, around that ball. We can also go back and forth on that ball a little bit and then walk it back. Um, about halfway through our foot to really start opening up that transverse arch. Good, breaking through all those adhesions and everything that's binding and keeping that foot tied tightly together. Very good. We'll do this for about 30 seconds to a minute and have some nice freedom in that, in that foot. The fourth exercise of the Ground Up series, after we've gone and done trigger point release on the entire bottom side of the foot, we're now moving through over the heel and into the Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon is a big, powerful tendon. 
Uh, it is that tendon that allows people to jump very, very high. It's very springy. It is taut and sprung really tight. And so the, your ability to create um, spacing and range of motion and breaking through all of those knots and tied up tissue become tantamount in full performance and feeling better about performance or just living day to day. So we've taken the two and a half inch foot massage ball and we've put it on the Achilles tendon. And we can actually take it as far down as we need to to start creating some space. And as we walk it through, we can walk it now back up, or sorry, the other way, to about here. If there's not enough pressure, because there's not enough soreness or we can take it, we actually wanna put as much pressure on this area as we can. We can take this leg and cross it over or we can lift up our hips with our hands and create a lot of pressure in that area. Now, there's a spot on this Achilles tendon where the gastrocnemius and the soleus come together, which on Tyler, because he's tall, is probably about here. So let's roll that massage ball up a little bit until you find a really painful area. Let's go a little bit lower than that. It might sit on the medial side here. So he can start carving out laterally, medially, but really opening up the area in that Achilles tendon and into those calf muscles to try to create that spacing. And you'll see what he's doing with his foot, articulating it back and forth, maybe creating some circles, inversion, eversion, moving it back and forth like this. Just creating that movement, kind of pinning and stretching the tissue that's underneath that foot massage ball to create all sorts of good spacing or freedom so that that posterior kinetic chain that starts from the bottom of the foot and goes around that ankle all the way up the hamstrings into the, into the, under the, the through the glutes and onto the waistline are all set in motion um, and can actually have a little bit of tension relief in there. So really great idea to do this right after uh, massaging the foot. And he's gonna sit on this for maybe 30 seconds to a minute and then repeat it on the other side of his body. The next exercise of the ground up series is the low quad. So we've taken care of the feet up through the Achilles tendon into the calves. And now we're going to flip around and really work on these supportive muscles that support that knee. And so we're just going to stick around the muscles that are on the upper part of that knee. So looking at um, the patellar ligament um, and the different muscles that, that, that attach. And so what we have Tyler doing here is you can go ahead and flex this leg a little bit. That'll start flexing that quad and as he brings his leg back down, it'll relax that anterior muscle and allow that quad to relax even more. Using a two and a half inch ball um, on a quadricep in these areas is ideal because you can actually start carving out and releasing these knots that would prohibit the kneecap from moving and prohibit the knee from its full function. And so it's a, a good idea. What he's doing here is going back and forth on it again, carving out those smaller muscles. You would use a larger massage ball for the larger quadricep muscles, um, but surrounding the knee, the two and a half inch foot massage roller is, is just perfect, or foot massage ball. For the muscles surrounding the knee, because they're small, the foot massage ball is ideal to really carve out those muscles, to break through those adhesions, and to get the right amount of nutrient and oxygen to those sites to create blood flow and bring hydration to that knee joint. Go ahead and do this with the flexion extension, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, and then repeat on the next side. The last exercise from the ground up series, after we've targeted the bottom of the feet, the Achilles tendon, the calf, some of the muscles surrounding the knee, we're gonna pick on the larger muscles surrounding the knee, that vastus medialis oblique, the VMO or the teardrop muscle because of the shape of it. Uh, to target this muscle, it becomes very important. It's an important mover in offsetting the, bi the, the big pull of that lateral quad. Um, a lot of times when your knee gets out of place, it's because that lateral quad is pulling it over. The VMO strengthened, pulls it back. So it needs a lot of ability to have good range of motion so that it can activate uh, and have full contractile force so that it actually 
uh, do what it's supposed to do. So a very important part of locomotion and movement that, that we do on a regular basis, especially in the demands for performance motorability. So what we do is we take the foot massage ball, a two and a half inch roller, because it's a small, or the two and a half inch ball, because it's a small, uh, smaller muscle, we put a, we get in the belly down position or kind of this army crawl position, which then really exposes the VMO or this muscle and that ball. And now what we can do is take this leg and extend. It's a little bit painful, especially on athletes. A lot of soreness associated with it. The cool thing with doing self care is that you can put your own amount of pressure. You don't have a massage therapist who can't feel that pain driving down. So Tyler can put as much pressure into this ball as necessary. If it's too much, he can position himself off of it and that'll alleviate some of the pressure. But as I always like to do is put as much pressure as you can tolerate. So belly down, a lot of pressure on that massage ball as we walk through that range of motion, really bringing the right amount of oxygenated blood to the surface, to that muscle, and uh, break through those adhesions, create range of motion for full uh, potential activation. So we'll do this for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then repeat on the other side. All right, that concludes our From the Ground Up series, a series of exercises specific to those who have lower extremity issues, uh, foot problems, Achilles tendon problems, problems with walking, sprinting, running, achiness, getting out of bed. This is a perfect two and a half inch foot massage ball to utilize, to take with you anywhere you're at, to really get after pains associated with the foot, the calves, the area surrounding the knee to really bring good oxygenated blood and nutrient to that area, to break through those adhesions that prohibit you from having good range of motion and to really restore mobility and harmony to your body.